Good morning, farm family. About to get my day started. The girls are about to get up and at them. We actually are gonna have a family day today, but I have some quick projects that I'm gonna knock out really quick before I get to the family fun day. First thing first, <sighs> I made a mistake y'all and it was all my fault. I'm Nico, by the way, with Our Brown Farmhouse. So let me walk you over and show you the mistake I made. So also, and about to let Zeus out, put him in the pasture with the boys as well. But also another mistake that I made recently, well, it wasn't a mistake. It's just a very determined puppy. So if you remember from our previous upload, we built that marvelous house shelter for Thor. Well, tell me if y'all see something wrong with this. Watch this. Here comes Uncle Jay. There's Uncle Jay. There was Achilles. What do you see by the car there? <laughs> what do you see right there, y'all? No, we didn't let Thor out. <laughs> Uncle Jay going to get some more gas. No, we didn't let Thor out, y'all. He escaped his house. So, going to be fixing that today as well. But let me show you the mistake I made about two weeks ago. So here's Gotopia, y'all. Does something look off? Yeah? Looks off to me as well. I was mowing in here, and I didn't notice that the shade cloth was caught on my zero-turn turn mower, and I had a lot of resistance and I was like, man, it's not going. I was listening to my music. I didn't think to look back and just snapped it right off of this stick right here. The stick that was in the ground. Now call me weird, but I'm looking at it like a blessing in disguise. And here's why. I didn't like how much droop the shade cloth had anyway. So I'm going to extend out the post and put a new shade cloth so that by the time the girl goats are back in here, it'll be nice and ready for them. The boy goats, they couldn't care less. They don't play. They do uh, like to lie in the shade and all that. So I'm going to fix it for them. But the girl goats are all over Goatopia, which was named by family members, you subscribers. So about to run to Lowe's to buy everything I need to fix these issues so that I can get to uh, the family fun day. raining can everyone guess where all of the girls are <laughs> goats do not like water y'all so let's see let's see if they run out as i get closer so let's see we have one two three four five six seven eight so there's two more and those are the two that ran out <laughs> nine and ten Alrighty, so as y'all can see behind me, I have all the wood I need for both projects. So about to get to it right now before the rain gets back. So let me set y'all up and let me try to knock this out as quickly as possible. It's the same There's no excuses No one to 
Uh, now to Gotopia. After doing some examining, the problem's not as bad as I thought. So the post that broke, I just took it off the ground. I have a new landscape timber, y'all saw me buy that. I'm gonna put that in the ground, take the platform off of that one, put it on the new one. Um, and the problem is, the it was swaying in the middle pretty deep. And it's because of those two right there. They're in too close. So I have a new four by four post for that side and this side, and that should make it nice and tight. So I have three posts to get in the ground and that should be it. Let's get to it. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. y'all did y'all see me struggling i had to go get reinforcements so mama's coming to help me i ain't got nothing left i've been staring at the ceiling i've been staying up all night everything i ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye Asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? walk under here now without having a dump. The other one was super low, y'all. Another thing is I just realized that uh, this white tarp that's on the ground <laughs> that um, was just up there is it has a different dimension. So I put these poles in the ground thinking or not realizing that the dimensions of this tarp are different. Yeah. But the next black tarp I have to buy I'm gonna get one that's the dimension of the one before. So although we actually didn't need these posts in the ground on both sides, we will need it for a future tarp. So I'm gonna keep these posts here and I'm just <laughs> gonna look at it as future, a future need. <laughs> but what I will do is walk this way, mama. And by the way, in a previous video, I told y'all the address to Goatopia was 0626 so I just wanted to show you that but I want to show y'all over here on Gotopia you see we have our swing we have our wood wind <laughs> chime because I cannot stand metal wood chimes don't come for me in the comments I just think that metal wind chimes are annoying he doesn't <laughs> like them and I love them <laughs> but listen to this You can't tell me that's not way more just soothing than metal wind chimes, but whatever. <laughs> you see, we have our decor in the corner. And down here, we have brushes mm -hmm. that the goats come and brush against. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. So no, when the girls are in here, we have a food trough that we put up here so that when they go up the ladder to the second story, they can eat up there. And they actually love to sleep up there mm -hmm. as well. They love sleeping up there. Especially um, mama goat. But to ensure this doesn't go to waste, I'm going to get some more of those brushes. I guess I'm going to need eight of them. And I'm going to put a brush on each side. 
So on this pole, four brushes, on that pole, four brushes, so that they can actually brush themselves or scratch themselves on the post until we need it in the future for the tarp. If you walk this way, I know we have a lot of new people, so just giving a, a tour of Goatopia. Under here is a nice area for them to lie down. They love to get up there to lie down. And you can see we have signs, my favorite movie, uh, Sandlot, Killing Me Smalls. <laughs> but as you can see underneath, we have two food troughs. We have minerals for them, yeah. um, baking soda, so they can eat underneath. And then on this side over here, we have another platform that they could lie down on and they could use this tire from that tire to the platform to lie down or they can go from the platform and another way to get up top and then we have a slide an actual slide and spirit <laughs> loves to use the slide she actually uses the slide yeah now what you saw me fix over here are platforms that the goats love to lie down on if I have footage of any of this, I'm going to try to put it over. Yeah, I have some of uh, mocha and latte. Yeah, so um, they'll jump on the tire from the tire to the platform. And they love lying down up here. And that's Gotopia, y'all. We love it. The goats love it. They have a lot of fun on it. It's fun to watch them play on it, especially when we have new baby kids. Kids love Go kids that is love yeah. Gotopia. They they man, it's a jungle gym, they love it. So Whew. I'm sweaty. I told y'all we gotta get to this uh family day. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna go take a shower. And I'm gonna go check on Thor. And we'll see y'all in one second, and it'll be this evening. Alright, y'all. Mama's about to come fill Esther's feed. So I'm a Put this new water hose i bought it's 100 feet so now we'll have one that should reach pretty far down and then we'll still have the one that's over there that could reach over here so just gives us some options Hi, Clarissa. <laughs> shake it, boy. Shake it. Shake it. Get it. Get it. Come on, Leroy. Shake Leroy. It. He likes to roll in the water. Look at him. Look, he's behind. He's by his food. He's scratching. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Nico. And Natalie. Egypt. <laughs> who else now, do we have here? Baby Pharaoh. And who's that playing with Thor? Baby Pharaoh. Hey. He's chilling, y'all. <laughs> we have Achilles. He just ran over there. But, hey, young lady, what's your name? Sahara. Oh, wow. How old are you? <laughs> Four. Four. You like you like a dramatic pause. Hey, what's that on your hand? Yes, what's that on your hand? What's on your hand? What's the sticker? What is that? Ninja Turtles. Let me see. That's Ninja Turtles. Who put that on you? Egypt. Sissy. Oh, okay. What a good sister. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we are about to get to it. We have our evening chores. That's what we're about to knock out. And as y'all know, with this heat, and I'm already sweating, we wait till the evening, so it's about 8 p.m. All right, so we have all the babies ready for us. Everyone's looking at us, even the chickens over there. I feel like the chicken, I feel like even the chickens are looking at us like, what's up, man? Where the food at? So <laughs> let's get to it, y'all. Sahara, Egypt, y'all ready to feed everybody? Yep. They're right behind y'all waiting, too. Like, hurry up. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we start off with a half scoop for, um, yep, for Bo. That's right, Egypt Rose. 
So he gets a half scoop, that's it. And then we give the cows a full bucket. All right, y'all, so Egypt and I are about to go feed the cows, and who do you have? Bo. That's right. And look, a bow already ready. He is ready. All right, watch out, Achilles. Watch out, WB, okay? I wanna come. Oh, you wanna come? Okay, show him his food so he knows. Here. So he doesn't try to get this cow feed. There we go. All right, Thor, you're on the tour, buddy. Come on, WB. Now we got WB, get WB, here. Here, WB. Uh, no, no. What in the chaos? All right, WB, come on. Come on, Coco. All right. There we go. All right, y'all, so WB came over here and knocked over Bo's food, so he's eating it up off the ground right now, which is okay. There's no grass or anything right here, so he's okay. We normally like for him to eat out the bucket. Whew, Mom, was that a little chaotic? Yeah. It normally isn't chaotic, but we had WB. So WB's our steer, y'all. It's short for Whataburger. He was trying to get Bo's food. Bo was like... Thor, get out of here. I don't know you, who are you? So we had to get Thor back out of here because traditionally, or, or as it goes, donkeys do not like canines, but Bo does get along with Achilles. Achilles. Yeah. All right, so coming out of this front pasture, y'all, right up here, cows over there still eating. Over here in the side pasture, who do we have here? We have Zeus and he's chilling, he's relaxing. We'll get to Zeus in a moment. Yeah, he's been out, he just ran in there earlier. So, Zeus spends his days, y'all, with the boy goats. That's who he typically is with. The one issue that we do have, though, is the that- chickens. Well, what's the issue? The chickens and the girl goats. He is a chicken killer, he's a sight hound, his prey drive is high, so we have to supervise them whenever they're in that pasture. Yeah. The chickens don't go to any of our other pastures but this side one, so. And of course, there's a ton of wives' tales out there of how to solve that problem. Um, so we've been working on it. He's actually getting better. Yeah, it's not, it's not as bad as it was before. Yeah, so we're working on it. All right, y'all, so right here we have Frankie's feed. It's a mix that we put together ourselves of chicken feed, chicken scratch, we have rabbit feed, we have poultry booster in there, um, and I'm pretty sure I'm still forgetting something. We mix it ourselves because it's cheaper. Let's go take care of Frankie. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces? Somebody ought to come along and let you down If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart And leave you crying on the floor You let me down, I won't do this all again even if I try, I can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go 
Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes Leroy's such a handsome fella But he's doing good Mama's checking her waters Looks like she's about to give um, Esther some more water in her pool for the night But they're doing well y'all Look, Leroy's like, I'm out of here. This is the feeder that we built. Um, I think I'll add that video to the end for y'all. So this is a pig feeder. So that pet pig, so that pig feeder is made for dogs is $80. We built this one that can hold 500 pounds of feed for $133, if I remember correctly. And it's on skids, like everything else on the property. Just like the house y'all saw us build in the previous video, we can pull it. So everything is meant to be easy to move around as our animals rotate <laughs> and look at esther she's big y'all so as you can see there's a hole in the pool right there but this is two pools yeah i doubled it up it's her. double pulled so she it's keeps, holding she the water to chew on it so we may have to invest in a little tight for her yeah, we may have Cause to. Because Leroy doesn't chew on his, but he's in his now and he's just hanging out. But <laughs> Yeah, she, can y'all see him over there? She chews on hers. That's a big girl. These are Thor's girls. So we have Pretty Valentine. And the reason we call her Valentine is because if you look on her back, that spot, especially when she was younger, it was shaped like a heart. And why? what's another reason she's named Valentine? She was born one month before Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, January the 14th. Yep, yeah. so with those two things combined, she earned the name Valentine. And right behind her is her beautiful daughter, Spirit. Right, Zeus? And Zeus was with the girls. He loves them. Zeus loves the girls a lot. <laughs> yeah, he just likes to play chase too much. Yeah. But that's her beautiful daughter, Spirit. And is let's keep working our way this way. We have, or is that? Yeah, we yeah, have. Yeah, that's Snow White. Snow White. And then the one with the black leg, I mean, brown legs, but white body is Fancy Pants. And yep. it was funny because when she was born, one of the subs, um, one of you all suggested Fancy Pants and we fell in love with the name. <laughs> So that's why we named her Fancy Pants. And then the two that are sitting up top the feeder, we got them where we um, got Mike and Peanut Butter from. And they're our newest additions to the herd. Mm -hmm. And then here we have Mama, as you all, well, some of you know. Oh, and, and the two newest additions to the herd, y'all see the one with the white on her lip? Her name is Latte. And the one behind her, her name is Mocha. And she yeah. was, they were both named by y'all, family members. And then here we have Carol and Carol is one of our most popular girls because <laughs> yes, she, she is. loves to escape. So yeah. she has a stick of shame for right now. So Carol still has a stick of shame because she still thinks the grass is greener and we tested it out and she still would stick her head in the fence, but then she gets stuck. Um, and we don't want her to get stuck, especially not in this heat. So she has the stick of shame still. Yep, the <laughs> stick of shame. And then right here, we have Peaches and her beautiful baby Butterscotch. Peaches, Butterscotch. And Butterscotch has some of the prettiest markings on her face, y'all. She's yeah. so pretty. All right, get a better view for y'all. There's butter, Butterscotch and her markings. And we have Peaches. So, sorry about the footage, y'all. Gotta be honest with you. This is kind of part of the territory of how late in the evening we have to film when we do our evening chores because the morning is too hot and right now it's just right for us and the girls and baby pharaoh and even the animals we don't want the animals eating in the in the heat so we try to feed them as late as possible look he's just minding his business <laughs> here she comes <laughs> <laughs> she also likes to play with the dogs and it's really yeah. cute she, she loves to play with the dogs she does she'll chase them and she'll run and then she'll come back so it's funny all right y'all so just a reminder that right now we aren't giving the girls any grain so that they could be goats there's so much weeds and 
shrubs and vegetation out here that we don't want them waiting around just for grain, kind of like they're just doing on the fence line anyway. They haven't had grain in about a month. Yeah, they have a beautiful salad bar. Oh yeah. So now is the time where Thor goes to bed. As mom mentioned, he gets out in the morning. He gets out during the day when we're outside supervised with the goats. Um, he's not in here 24 seven y'all. The reason that this door is on here for him not to get out is because he was with uh, he was he was in the house with us for a week y'all so whenever he gets out he tries to beeline it to the house because that's where he wants to be um because he's still growing and getting connected to his girls yeah so but, but that's not the reason we keep but him also up. for his safety so the main reason is for his safety and for yeah. him and the girls to get acquainted mm -hmm. it's never a good idea to just toss an animal like a new animal in with other animals you want to give them a chance to get to get to know them and usually if you watch other um get their sense yeah get to know each other um also you gotta remember he's 10 weeks old he's a baby y'all so the reason his house where he has food and water the reason his home doesn't have a door yet that he can come and go as he pleases is we want him locked up at night we still have achilles and we have um we have Bo up front. We have enough for right now to detour predators. And he and if something were to come and he's out, he can't defend himself. He yet. can't do anything anyway, y'all. So yo. that's not fair to so, Thor. So he stays locked up at night. And then our final reason is because once again, he's only 10 weeks old. So I mean, mama has Pharaoh right there, an infant. We have our four-year-old Sahara. I imagine just throwing them out and being like, all right, have a good day. You know what I mean? Like he's a baby still. So we don't want him out here on this like four acre pasture yeah, at night it's... in the dark by himself. <laughs> yes, it's in his bloodline, but we don't want him just out here cause that could be scary. And if he gets scared, that can, there could be things that happen to him at this age that scar him for the rest of his life, right? We want him to have character, but not that much character. Yeah. So he's going to get He's going to be, I mean, by the time he's four or five months, he'll be full on, <laughs> like, protecting, yeah. so. He'll be good. And he has, when he is in here, we oh. give him different toys. So he has something to play with to keep him stimulated. And then we make sure he has enough food. We don't fill it up um, all the way to the top, but we make sure that he has enough. Just because we don't want anything to get in there and, you know, sour his food or mess it up. So here's his rope. Yep. And this is called like a Nyla bone or something like that. He loves that thing. <laughs> but this thing survives Zeus. Yeah. And if you know anything about Irish wolfhounds, they can chew anything up. So like Zeus made one of these into its individual Shreds. strands. Yeah, yeah like it's one, individual. Not even a full day. <laughs> but he has that and he has his Nyla bone. So he likes to play with those. And over here he has some nice fresh water that we added for him, way more water. So he's good there, but it's bedtime. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there. <laughs> and the other thing I'll say is there's not one specific right way and you have to do what you feel is best for you and your animals, as long as they're being taken care of and it's not, they're not being neglected. Like do what's best for you and your property. Everyone lives in different areas and you know your animals better than anyone as long as you're tending to them the way that you're supposed to. So yeah, so this this is what works for us, um, but something differently may work for you. I'm not gonna shine a light right at him because his little eyes, but look at him. You ready? You ready for your nighttime routine? <laughs> He's ready for a bath? Yeah? And I did get some comments, y'all, around what time do we come out here? Like, how do we make sure that the animals are staying cool? So, <laughs> each of and I will do a video in the future so y'all can come along with us for that journey. But we get up before um, the sun's full up in the sky. So we come out, we'll give them water, we bring some pictures of ice <laughs> for the dogs to make sure they, they can stay cool throughout the day. And then we'll come out a little bit later midday and then refresh, spray the pigs down, make sure everyone's cool. And then we come out in the evening again 
just to make sure. And sometimes the plan changes if there's rain and such. Um, but for the most part, we've been very fortunate with us being home this summer that we're able to make sure during this heat, which for us, it hasn't been too crazy. Like the high was 88 today. Um, some days it gets to like 90, 95, but so far we've been blessed that it hasn't hit the hundreds every single day. Um, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> so now we just have to put, put a Betty. Zeus. <laughs> So Zeus can stay out with us, y'all, as long as we're in the yard with him. Um, and that's in the morning, and we let him out. We've been letting him out in the evening, just to kind of see how he does with the chickens. And then during the day, we'll let him go with the boy goats. But he was being a little, little, little sassy today, and Egypt had to put him, put him up for a second when he wouldn't stop chasing chickens. <laughs> Luckily, I got out there in time. Yeah, because when he was younger, y'all, how many chickens did he get, E? Uh, he got a lot. I know for sure three. All right, y'all, so now it's time for us to put Zeus up for bed. And this is the inside of his house. <laughs> this kennel was built for two dogs, and we just removed the middle panel so he has all of the space. Mm -hmm. He loves to sleep in the house. 15 feet by 10 feet, y'all. 15 feet by I'm 10 feet. I'm standing up in here. <laughs> yeah, Nico can stand up. Almost touching the top, though. And then he has his food there where he can free feed when he's in there. And then his water. His sign is one that we're going to have to get for now. But as you can see, where do we get it from, babe? Etsy? Etsy. Etsy. Yep. Yeah, we do. But yeah. Zeus has this place all to himself. Now, if you're wondering, well, Achilles, he gets to go in the house and he's outside. He's a 50-50 dog. Thor, he's outside because he's a working dog. Why do y'all put Zeus in this house? Even though it's nice and large, even though he has a house within a house for Florida winters, if he wants to sleep inside <laughs> that shelter. Um, and the reason is we want Zeus to one day be a 50-50 dog as well. But he's only two years old, y'all. Yeah, he just turned two. So if you remember the movie from when you were growing up, I was in elementary school. The movies Beethoven, they made like four of them. Beethoven one, two, three. The big St. Bernard dog who is in the house and so destructive. That's Zeus. That's Zeus in the house. So yeah. <laughs> right now he has basic obedience training, but we want to get him advanced training so that he could be in the house without us needing to remodel it after every time he gets out of it. So Yeah, because he can reach whatever I'm cooking on the stove. Oh, baby, he's getting his bacon. He can reach it. Y'all, Pharaoh didn't even make it. Oh, I started talking. He was going to sleep. <laughs> he didn't even make it all the way back here without going to sleep. He was dozing off. That's so cute. But now we're gonna give y'all a chick update. They are getting so big. And look how big they're getting, y'all. Look at them. This so cute. Yeah, super cute. And those two kind of look like twins. They do, they look, like it's hard to tell them apart. So when we figure out names, we gotta try to find some markings or something in their feathers. What? Something the to tell them apart, because that's gonna be hard. But Egypt's idea for this little house using Tucker's old cat little box has worked great. And then look, she's, she's doing it to show y'all. We have caught them not on camera yet, but they'll sit on the roof sometimes. But not not as often as the other ones do yet. They still like to hide behind here, or if it's raining, they'll go inside the um their lid and get all cuddled up together. And it's funny because the two that look alike will look like they're one bird. But yeah. yeah. One body and two heads. <laughs> yep, one body and two heads. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. Brown just got them some more water, some fresh water. Mm, that looks good. Because <laughs> it's hot, honey. All right, y'all. So that's all of the outside animals, except for Tucker. So we could go to the tack room. We could check out his bowl. But I want to say we filled him up this morning. Yeah, Tucker still has And the water's has some. cold. And his water's cold, E? Mm-hmm. 
And y'all, we have to put it up here because Achilles will, Achilles come, in will come in here when there's a storm. We leave the door for him because he likes to come in here. Yeah, in he doesn't like he, thunderstorms. In case he doesn't, he doesn't have time to get to the house or he doesn't want to go, he can just come in here and hang out with Tucker. Yep, and him and Tucker will hang out in here. All right, y'all, so now we got Achilles, his food, and some fresh water. And as you can see, he's about to gobble it up. And we'll probably have to come out here in a little bit because when he drinks, his water turns brown from his beard. And look at my favorite mat, y'all. <laughs> so Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah, each of knows. We go to Hobby Lobby, it's a trip. We're there all day. And sometimes she gets something that she doesn't even need. <laughs> or she doesn't even know what she's going to use it for. All right, y'all. So if you're still here in the video at this moment, you are a true supporter. You made it through this long video. So I just wanted to pop this in to the ending to give you a, a sneak peek at what's coming up. But you see what Egypt has here? <laughs> what do you have there, Egypt? A baby chick. A baby chick. This one's still small. I'm surprised. The yeah. other ones are bigger than it. All right, y'all. So I don't even know how many there are. Let's count. One, two back there. Mm -hmm. There's 13 of them? Uh-huh. <laughs> the big ones are the little ones. 13 chicks, y'all. So y'all know what that means as Pharaoh is ready to eat. What that means is that if we have 13 in here, there's three in the barn. That's 16. There's one with its mama. That's 17. Sounds like we need a new coop, huh? <laughs> y'all stay tuned.